it's here, even if it doesn't look like it right now or feel like it. First Alert meteorologist Meredith Garfalo shows us ways you can stay connected and keep your family safe when the storm does hit. Duck. You have your plans ready to go in case of a flood. It's gotta be at least four feet deep over there. Or mudslide. But then, all of a sudden, damaging winds knock out the power to your house and you're left sitting alone in the dark, wondering what will happen next with the weather. But before you panic, know that there are multiple ways you can stay informed and connected to your First Alert weather team and the community. We're there for you, tracking what's coming from the First Alert Weather Center. One smart investment would be in a weather radio. You can buy a weather radio at, at any electronic store. Uh, anything, you know, a, a Best Buy or Fry's or practically anywhere. Running on non-electric power sources. Most of them run on three AA batteries. There's also some that where you can crank it. You don't even need the batteries. You crank it and get the power that way. Those also have a flashlight on them. It will alert you when there are warnings for your community. 24 hours a day. Anytime there's a warning that's issued uh, for your area, it actually sends out a very obnoxious and loud alarm. Whether you're in your home, on the road, or even out on the water. The frequencies on a weather radio are also available on, on many, say, marine radios, marine band radios, which for, for marine users, it's, it's one of the main ways that they get weather information. If you live in Santa Barbara County, there's also a new program that will alert you of an emergency, and it's called Aware and Prepare. First, it'll send a text message, then a phone call, then an email, and it will continue to do that until you confirm that you've received the message. Which is why your phone plays a very important role during a storm. Immediate access to live radar. Because so you your phone is such an important tool, make sure it's fully charged before a storm arrives, and you have a full tank of gas in your car. Your car is a great source of getting power, so make sure that you have an adapter to plug into your outlet in your car so that you can power up your phone. If you can't get to your car, use other tools to energize your phone, such as hand crank radio phone chargers or portable charging devices. Extra uh, charging uh, batteries that you can uh, charge up and then plug in later, those will extend the life of your phone. Uh, then you always have options to communicate during the storm. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Reporting in Santa Barbara County, I'm meteorologist Meredith Garfalo, News Channel 3.